I'm going to show you how to take an existing image, put it into mid-journey, and reuse the image for your own creations. It helps if you have an existing image to start with, but if you don't, you could very easily create an AI image and use that as well. To get started, click on the plus button and click on upload file. Here I'm going to select my image. You'll see that mid-journey has uploaded the image here. Click on it and then highlight the open in browser button, right click, and then click on copy link address. We're going to go back and hit slash imagine, paste the URL and type in our prompt. And here's the result. Now, if you had the image that you wanted to continuously reuse over and over again, instead of having to upscale the image, copying and pasting it continuously, I'm going to show you how to create a custom parameter in Midjourney so you can call on this image anytime. So with the link already copied, or you may have to go back and copy the URL again one last time, go to the prompt bar and type in slash prefer. You'll see a list of options. You want to select the option that is prefer option set. In the option box, you want to give a name to the parameter. You can name it whatever you want, but if you're going to be using it a lot, chances are you should be keeping it short. So I'm just going to simply name this Chris. And then beside the plus one, you click on it, you'll see now you get a value option that comes up. Click on that and you will now paste in the URL and hit enter. What this does is it tells Midjourney to save this parameter for you to use again. So I'm going to go back to the prompt box. I'm going to type in slash imagine to create a new image. The way the parameters work in Midjourney is you always start it off with a dash dash. So to create this image, I'm going to start off with dash dash Chris, and then I'm going to type in the rest of my prompt. And here we go. Some of the images have slight variations. If you want to create a more consistent character, it's best to have more reference images for Midjourney to leverage. I'll post a link in the description if you want to know more on how to create a consistent character. With this little parameter trick, you now have the ability to call up your image at any time without having to go back through copying, repasting links. And you can just create the parameter once, it's ready to go. But if you're looking to discover even more AI tools, I have created a robust list which range across social media, image generation like Midjourney, custom avatars, music creators, and more. You can click on this video right here.